Good morning, guys. Uh, well, good afternoon. It's uh, 2 p.m. So today we're gonna make a new workout plan for myself. Yeah, I'm really excited. It's 2 p.m. I want to hit the gym at like 4. So we got like two hours to make this and have something to eat as well. And I also want to talk to you guys through uh, my thinking and why I do certain things and how really I go about making a workout plan for myself. So first things first, let's open my computer. Let's screen record this. All right, so we're in my uh, computer right now and I have to kind of move my camera so I can actually watch the screen. By the way, how do you like my face flag here? So nice, right? Um, shout out to uh, Arma Center for sending me out. Um, it's really nice. It's a really good addition to my um, setup. So um, cool. So this is a um, custom workout template that I made. So for everyone, I made a plan for. This is kind of what it looks like. Um, but a couple things that we, I want to keep in mind when making a plan like this. The first thing is how many days do you want to go. So there's a couple things we need to take into consideration when. Think of this, um, one, on Sunday we have football, which is very intense uh, cardio, obviously, and it's pretty heavy on the legs. Um, you play twice, 45 minutes, and I always feel like um, I have soreness, leg soreness after um, that. So also, when I do train legs regularly, I have two days after uh, where I'm sore. So I can be training uh, legs on Friday because I have, on Sunday I have a game and my legs will be sore and that wouldn't combine well. We're trying to hit everything twice a week, but because of uh, football, I can't really hit the legs twice a week since if I do train legs twice a week, um, my knees just wouldn't be able to handle it. So twice a week uh, legs training um, and then also football game. Um, in my experience, my knees weren't too happy with it and I got a lot of pains on my knee, which that's why we don't do legs twice a week. But other than that, everything we're gonna do twice a week so for day one is Monday. Um, so on Monday, we just played a game on Sunday. So my legs will be sore on Monday, uh, a little bit at least. So I wanna give my legs some rest on Monday. So today um, we're gonna plan something like um, some upper body uh, combination of, uh, of a couple things. Uh, we're probably gonna train back. Um, as I do want to bring up my back a lot, and especially the midsection of the traps a lot. Uh, I feel like my lats are pretty okay. Uh, they're pretty well developed uh, for, for my standards, of course, for my body. Uh, but my traps need a lot of work. So that's where we're going to work on. Um, so we're going to do back. Uh, we're going to do so rear delts, which is, you know, connected a little bit to the back. Obviously, it's the, the, the back side of the shoulder. Um, we're gonna do some triceps and the reason is I want to really you know um, mix things together so I, I've done back bicep um, pretty much all the time where like shoulder arms or like chest triceps I want to mix it up a little bit uh, so I think uh, doing something like this would really you know help me out uh, so yeah those three things are should be good for day one um, we also can add abs wherever we want basically so on day two is Tuesday um, we want to do the heavy part of the legs. The reason is because if I do accessory workouts or movements on the first, before I do the, um, you know, the more of the compound movements like the squats or leg press or whatever, um, if I do the accessory like hamstring or calves, if I do them on Tuesday, for example, I can't really do them on Wednesday as it's going to prevent me from hitting you know, good numbers on squats and pr progressing that way. And uh, the compound movements are more important in my opinion than the accessory movements. So um, let's do on Tuesday, uh, let's do some squats on Tuesday. So we're gonna do some legs. Let's, let's, let's call it quads and uh, glutes. So on, on Tuesday, we're gonna concentrate on quads, glutes, and then we're gonna add something in there. Uh, we can either do shoulders, uh, we can do biceps even, we can even do a little bit of chest, uh, but I think I'm going to go for um, shoulders on this one, or actually, let's go with biceps. Um, so we have one uh, big muscle group, the back, and then we have a little smaller, and then we have uh, another little smaller uh, muscle group. So, and then we have a pretty big one, the quads are a pretty big muscle group. Uh, the glutes is also, you know, your butt. 
and then a bicep, another um, smaller muscle group. All right, day three, Wednesday. Since we want to hit everything twice a week, we gotta keep in mind that after this day, we need to hit everything we got, right? Um, so we, what we still have left is chest, shoulders, chest, shoulders. What else? We got back. We got legs. We got chest. We got shoulders. We got arms. We got glutes. We got rear delts. Hmm. Hamstring. We need some hamstring work. Um, but let me think here. We could do hamstring here, but there is a slight chance that we will be still sore from Tuesday. So that's another thing we keep kind of keep in mind. So let's actually delete this and place the pay day four since um, everything in the legs we're doing only doing once a week. So that's actually a good thing. So chest shoulders on Wednesday, which is a great combination in my opinion, and we'll add some abs in here um, since we do. Uh, need to train some apps as well. Um, okay, so now we have the first three days and basically we can, if we really want to, we can just put this on repeat. So let's just copy this to day four and then instead of rear delts, we're gonna hit hamstrings. So we got back, hamstring and triceps on day four and then day five, um, we won't be hitting any quads um, but let's just copy it anyways um, on day five which is a Friday and this is Thursday let's see we can hit bicep here because we hit it on day two so that's enough time to rest all right we're gonna actually change uh, something up it's a little bit easier. So let's just copy this. And we're gonna turn these around. You know, it's, it's, with, with things like this, it's like playing with, um, it's, you know, it's, it's making a puzzle. It's like getting all the pieces together and making a puzzle to it fits your schedule or your thing really well. Um, but now the thing, when we create another problem is quads, glutes, and then they have to get hamstrings. But we can't hit hamstrings on Friday, so we actually might try it out and see if it works for us. If um, we have too much, you know, soreness in our um, legs from Wednesday, then I might um, have to put this uh, on. I might have to put it on a Friday, maybe, and then hope we don't get soreness on Sunday. So it's playing with that. Uh, that's a little bit of an issue right now, uh, but I changed it up because so I can hit um, chest and shoulders again on day five. Um, so now, as you can see, back, there's two days between that, so it's enough time to recover, and then we hit it again. Uh, for chest, the same thing, day two and day five, which is also two days uh, in between. And then we have um, rear delts, um, which we do once now, so we might have to fit in an exercise on another day, um, maybe like day three or day four, um, maybe a combination with the back a little bit, implementing a little bit more of a combination back rear delt exercise, and then um, we have quads, we have glutes, we have hamstring, which is pretty much all of it, uh, and then we obviously need, need calves. Um, so we have to fit in calves in here as well. I'm not sure if they spell with a V or an F, I don't really care, but um, yeah, so calves on day three. So then we have all of the lower body stuff, the legs we have done um, once a week as we want. Um, and then on Saturday, we're gonna take a day off. Since I think it's very important to rest and usually on Saturdays, the gym is jam packed. So it's actually a great day to take a rest day on Saturday um, since we do, you know, need a rest here and there and biceps ah i see now so now you see we have biceps only have one day in between so let's see if we can hit biceps on a different day we could do biceps on a tuesday 
So we have two days in between as well. Let's actually do that. Um, so now we have on Wednesday, we have a full lower body day. That's so much fun. So keep in mind, guys, for everyone, there's a different schedule. You have a different set of things. You have different things you want to work on. So the, the puzzle of making a workout plan can be very complicated. Um, obviously, I'm not saying I, I'm the best at it. But I'm just trying to keep in mind what works for me and what I like to do, and then uh, we'll go from there. So um, I'm actually going to delete apps here. Um, I'm going to place it right here. Abs. Um, so now we have day two abs, and we can add in um, here. This should be good because um, the abs don't need that much recovery, so we don't hit them that crazy hard. We just um, usually mainly do body weight, which doesn't really need to recover for two full days. Um, I never have any app forms or whatever, so uh, I think that should be good. Um, so now we have five days in the week that we filled in uh, with all the um, muscle groups. But now the tricky part comes in where you have to put in the exercises, the reps, the sets. Um, so it's going to be very interesting. Um, so I'm going to be working on that. I'm going to talk to you guys through it after. Um, so yeah, let's just get, you know, get to work. We are done with the workout split and I'm gonna walk you guys through it really quickly before we hit the gym because it's uh, 3.45 now and we got a little uh, protein shake here. Um, but yeah, let's just go into it right now. I'll um, screen cap again so you guys, uh, I can walk you guys through it. All right guys, so this is it. I changed up a little bit, a few things. Um, I moved the abs from Tuesday to Wednesday and um, but yeah, let's just go on and let's go through it. Uh, Monday, back rear delts, triceps, starting out with pull-ups, lat pull-downs, and bend over rows. So these are mainly lats. Um, pull-ups is obviously a very good exercise, one of the best exercises to do for back, uh, and I really wanna get better at it. Um, five working sets, eight reps, and I'm gonna do one warm-up set, so um, I only will do the warm-up set if I will do um, weighted sets um, for working sets, but um, that's for the future. For today we're probably gonna do just uh, you know body weight um, sets of pull-ups. Um, lat pull-down, very standard, four sets, 10 repetitions. Uh, I feel like between 10, um, 10, 12, eight maybe is a pretty good you know rep range to work and to go from. Um, a little bit lower than that, you can go a little bit heavier and try to you know work a little bit more on power and stuff. Uh, but eight to twelve is pretty much okay for hypertro hypertrophy. So uh, we'll keep everything b between that, um, except the last two days. But we'll get into that later. Um, reverse flies. So this is for the rear delts and traps. Um, I put in traps here because I want to concentrate on these reverse flies, on retracting my scapula a lot. And uh, by retracting the scapula, you're gonna hit the traps, the midsection of traps as well. Uh, four sets, 15 reps. The rep range is a little bit higher on these because um, the muscle group is a little bit smaller, so you have to hit it a little bit uh, with more uh, reps to really feel it. And I feel like with these little uh, muscle groups, burning um, burning them out is a lot um, nicer to do. Um, then for tricep, we have overhead dumbbell press uh, or extensions, it should be extensions and then we have tricep extensions we can do whatever we want with that um, both five sets six to eight repetitions with triceps i'm really want um want to get stronger at triceps so that's why i do six to eight repetitions on that uh, both five working sets uh, with one warm-up set uh, warm-up is very important obviously we don't want to get injured or do anything stupid so um yeah tuesday we have chest shoulders and biceps um the dumbbell press for the chest. Uh, I'm doing only dumbbell. The reason is uh, because if you do bench press, um, obviously because of the, the lacking of my right pec, um, I'm trying to get that back to normal. And with bench press, 
uh, it's a lot less, your body isn't going to, you know, your my right pec isn't going to work as well as my left pec because it's lacking and it's less strong. So by doing dumbbell press, um, I can't compensate with a left pec uh, with the dumbbells, obviously, because they're loose uh, and every each hand is, is free from the other. So uh, that's why we're only doing dumbbell press until uh, we feel like we've improved so much uh, that we can do bench press again. Um, so yeah, dumbbell press and then incline, both five sets. Uh, I'm trying to really bring out my chest, so I wanna do a lot of volume on chest, 10 repetitions, uh, fairly easy and standard. Then we have Arnold press for shoulders. Um, shoulders, I, I want to do um, a little bit uh, less sets obviously because we are going to work really hard on the chest. And if we do too many sets, uh, we don't wanna be in the gym for too long. So uh, that's why I kept this a little bit um, lower. And also my shoulders are pretty well developed. Um, so we're all good with that. Auto presses, um, three working sets, eight repetitions each set. And then side raises, um, three and eight as well. And then we do shrugs for the traps, um, the upper traps. Uh, we do 15 again, a little bit higher rep range. Um, then for biceps, easy bar curls, hammer curls, fairly easy and standard exercises. My biceps, again, is pretty okay. Um, so we are pretty good with those uh, numbers, I feel like. Uh, we can always change it though. Uh, so we'll see what happens and if we like it. Maybe if this day takes too long, then we'll sh make sure to shorten it. Maybe three sets on here or maybe even less exercises. Um, but anyways, Wednesday is the lower um, body day, which is exciting. Um, because you know, I'm trying to really uh, bring up my uh, my quads. I really want to grow them. Um, so squats, three warm up sets. I feel like with squats and deadlifts, um, it's very very important to really really warm up really well. Um, there's a lot more that goes into it than just doing the sets. So uh, I really want to focus on a warm up. So I make sure I'm all good. Five working sets, six to eight repetitions. Getting you know concentrating a little bit more on power uh, than on hypertrophy, um, so we can get those numbers up. Uh, which is a goal of mine. Then leg extensions with a actual drop set. Also, every chest here, I forgot to mention. 1DS means one drop set on the last set. Um, or every set, depends. Um, then we do walking lunges, uh, four sets, 10 steps uh, each leg. So let me add steps here, so you guys know, uh, which is for each leg. So 20 steps total per set, four sets. And then calf raises, Four sets, 15, again, a little bit higher rep range on that. And then abs, I pretty much freestyle abs always, so pretty much um, stuff that I like to do. Um, yeah, I, I kind of freestyle it, so uh, I'll see what I can do when I want to do that day. Um, then we have hamstring, back, tricep, rear delts, a lot of things here, but as you can see, it's pretty good exercise, um, it's a pretty good work, workout day. Um, so this is the second time we're, we're doing back, so now, we have this back day, which has a lot of sets and a little bit higher rep ranges, or like more than hypertrophy rep ranges, focusing a lot on lats and um, one like, I would say like complete back, whatever. So on this day, we're gonna focus a little bit less on lats, uh, a little bit more on the other parts of the back, which is also very important. Uh, for example, uh, the V-bar pull down is a little bit different from the lat pull down. Uh, it just hits a little bit different angle from the back. Um, so yeah, with the back, it's very important to hit the different angles, um, but obviously we can do six exercises every day um, for back, so that's why we have to split it up. Uh, then wide grip bend over row, which is obviously for the rear delts as well. Um, and then low row, mid traps and back. Um, sorry for my phone, guys. Um, with the low row, I'm really, um, Again, retracting my scapula and I'm concentrating on the midsection of my traps uh, because I want to bring that up. Uh, so those are three exercises, five sets on the V-bar pull downs and then four on the other ones with six reps only. Uh, so we're gonna go go try to go heavy on these reps. And then triceps, two exercises, uh, fairly easy. Um, three sets, eight repetitions. And then hamstring curls, two warm-up sets because I uh, have very tight hamstrings right now. So I want to get very nice warmed up, not, not no injuries. Uh, three working sets, six repetitions as well. And then uh, reverse cable fly for the rear delts again. Uh, we might have to take this out depending on how uh, well they're growing and stuff. But um, yeah, we'll see. Um, adding another drop set as well with 20 reps to burn them out. Then the last day is going to be the most fun day, I think. 
um, chest, shoulders, biceps, the second one is for more for power again. Dumbbell press, two warm-up sets, five working sets, both with six repetitions on each set. And as you can see here with the rep set, um, we have incline dumbbell fly, five sets, 12 reps. So these, this number is interesting since it's a little bit higher than the rest of these last two days. Um, these are very much uh, focused on power and this is just to add the pump, you know, get as much blood flow to the chest as possible. Um, so we're going to completely burn them out in these last sets, uh, which is awesome. I can't wait to do that. Uh, then for shoulders, I didn't want to go uh, too crazy for shoulders uh, on this workout routine for me, because as I said before, uh, my shoulders are pretty okay and well, you know, developed. So um, I'll front and side superset um, three sets, eight repetitions, fairly low and fairly, you know, less volume than um, chest, for example. And then we have single arm dumbbell press, uh, standing or seated, I'm not sure yet. Uh, also three sets, eight repetitions. Then we have a superset for biceps as well. Cable curls, superset with wall curls. Uh, wall curls, obviously, you have a barbell against the wall and then you do curls. <laughs> it's fairly easy. Um, two warm-up sets to get that good, you know, warm-up. Not trying to injure myself. And then four sets with each eight repetitions. So yeah, that's it for this workout um, routine. I'm gonna switch to my camera right now to do the outro. I took burp. So yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, go download it in the description. It's in the description right now. So go download it. It's free. It's you can use it. You can you know switch things up. I'm gonna say, save it in an Excel file. So if you want to change that stuff up, uh, you can add or delete things or you know mess with the, whatever the reps or sets, whatever works for you. And um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, I'm gonna record this workout today, which is going to be up tomorrow. So uh, day one is gonna up to uh, it's gonna go up tomorrow. Um, but yeah, let's um, let's go to the gym now. I'm excited. See you guys tomorrow. Deuces.